lethal and loud. This is the Scooter McGee Show on News Talk 1310 KFKA. The following program is closed captioned for the thinking impaired. Get comfy cozy. It's time for Shallow Moments with Scooter McGee. Good evening, Gotham, Metropolis, Emerald City, Xanadu, Babylon, to the ISS, and the rest of you. Live from the CRP 4x4 studios, it is opening night for the ever-popular world, uh, the Greeley Stampede. Well... I love the headline from CNN. Now that they've been caught covering fake news, but they're attacking everyone else who's covered Blucifer. So, okay. I was wrong, I was wrong, I was wrong, I was wrong. But uh, earlier this week, I pointed out that uh, that that photo is staged. It turns out the photo's staged. I see. Okay. I see. Okay. Well, now the headline, Donald Trump has killed the immigration bill with a tweet. It is funny CNN suddenly got off the Donald Trump Stormy Daniels campaign back to the children, which means the IG report is a lot more toxic than any of you would know because you haven't bothered to read the effing thing. House Republican leaders now working hard behind closed doors to thread the needle of an immigration bill that could secure the support of the bulk of their conference. Trump ending that all this morning with a tweet. Republicans should stop wasting their time on immigration until after we elect more senators and congressmen and women in November. Dems are just playing games, have no intention of doing anything to solve this decades-old problem. We can pass great legislation after the red wave. Oh, Democrats piss because they, you say there isn't a blue wave coming. You're so wrong. You have no idea. When we get in, we are going to absolutely destroy you because you are just got, you're the Satan and you have to go. Uh, let's see. I, I, I see the incendiary and wait till November of using politics from Nancy Pelosi in 2014. Harry, yeah. Let's not make the children a political issue. The so-called compromise legislation was constructed by the wrong poll. Speaker Paul Ryan. Moderates and conservatives are happy. Ah, well, good for them. Go yourselves. Oh, I'm sorry, I was channeling Roy Cohn. Hey, Alex, if you're gonna steal my bumpers and the Godfather stuff, then why don't you at least get your facts right? Now, guys, this isn't funny. Why is he playing, oh, I'm sorry, Night Shift? He has a day show. And I spent three hours last night on the Mafia, and today Roy Cohn comes up? Let's see if I can get Michael Franzese on my cell phone. Jesus, Scooter, you know him? Yeah, what's better is he knows me. Good, upstanding Christian members of the business community need to stand up to each other. I mean, for each other. What the? Yeah, phone blows up this morning. You got to turn it on. What? You're stealing your... I don't care. The truth is the truth. Steal away. But don't. Don't. Minimize Roy Cohn for... Hey, you know all you little snowflakes out there, let's remember the lavender wave, okay? You might want to Google that. It was not Roy Cohn responsible for the Trump Tower. It is Sammy the Bull Gravano, and it's Sammy the Rat. From rebar to ready mix, on the street or in the high rises, from Brighton Beach right down to the Battery, you could not put in a building without the Gambino crime family and the front companies being run by Salvatore Gravano. So I don't know what the you're talking about, Roy Cohn. Okay, 
You want to get into chugging? Let's talk about that. How about that? Gay frogs. The hopping toads. Are you kidding me? Dis and I'm getting attacked because I'm the disinfo monster? Jesus. Uh, on a rodeo clown. Instead of a popsicle stick for the Greeley Stampede. The vitriolic bile coming out of the left and the right. Let's bring up the mothers of the dead children on the Fox News panel. What? Could we maybe just push back from the table? Pentagon indefinitely suspending training exercises with South Korea. Where'd that story go? The children aren't in their parents' arms. Sorry, you're going to get pissed, but go the children. You've just heard shallow moments with Scooter McGee. Thank God that's over with. I say that because that last video picture footage of children were kids 18 to 25. Ooh. What's next? The geriatric ward wondering where their families are? <laughs> Down the hall to the gas chamber. I mean the showers. <laughs> well, concentration camps don't exist. Walmart detention centers do. Keep sharing, liking, and posting crap you're not reading. My God! Take out the trash news Friday. Oh, a slight correction from Time Magazine. The minute I saw them, this is why I'm so looking forward to Alzheimer's. I remember that little girl. What the f is that? Whoa, 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 that's not. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, well that's a stage shop. That's fake. I'll scooter you. I'm just talking about. Yeah. Well. Wow. Criticism over the separation of immigrant families or illegals. A toddler sobbing at the border and now he used to accuse. Oh, I see. Time Magazine. Now, the last thing we want to do with all this World War II history floating around would be take out a bunch of paraphernalia, throw it on a street corner, and set it on fire. And the only reason I point out we shouldn't, but I mean, it'd be interesting to try is I didn't realize that freshly laid was actually flammable. I did not know Rex Reed was alive, but you can thank Roy Cohn for that. Uh, whoa, Scooter, oh, I'm sorry. Do you want to really look into the uh, relationship between Roy Cohn and Rex Reed? Even Rex Reed now agreeing with Scooter that somebody should put Jurassic Park out of its misery. Uh, Peter Fonda wanted all the uh, people responsible for this childish nonsense to be brought to task. Let's post their addresses. Let's, let's find out where they are. Well, WikiLeaks now has published the identities and information of ICE employees. Identifying more than 9,000 suspected, supposed, I love that, suspected. How do we know you work for ICE? I can get a windbreaker made like that online and delivered in a day. I love yesterday's story that the jacket in question cost thousands and thousands of dollars. I know. Uh, before the internet sales tax goes into effect full throttle, you can get it online for 39 bucks. The supposed current and former U.S. Immigration Custom Enforcement employees, uh, Wiki says that they have published them for increasing accountability. Databases containing the employees is publicly available personal information. Oh, see, it's also public information anyway, so we're just putting it into a one-stop shop. Kind of like what the National Security Agency is doing with the cloud, but in this case, well, Wiki's probably going to have to do some time, I guess. What the f just happened? We just crashed the computer again, I'll bet. We did. Go. That's what happens when you get finger happy on a Friday night. Yeah, you might want to Google Roy Cohn in the Lavender Wave. Trump Tower in New York City was built none other than by the allowances for Salvatore Gravano. Not Roy Cohn. And I am Scooter McGee and we'll be back. Oh yes, I'm pissed. If you haven't figured that out yet, then go away.
you catch what I throw and stick around for probably what's going to be two hours and 44 minutes now, the most explosive radio in the history of epic mankind. Pissed. And by the way, you know who you are. Hey, you party animals and super fans out there. Greeley Westside Liquors got your party covered. Be the hit of your next party by calling 970-353-0036. That's 353-0036. Greeley Westside Liquor delivers to all of Greeley. Fast through the drive through and even faster by delivery from the friendliest folks in Greeley. Remember 30th and 10th Street? Remember Greeley Westside Liquor delivers after 4? Open 8 a.m. to midnight seven days a week. And Greeley Westside Liquor is your party bowl central. What may be junk to you just might be another man's treasure. From stamps, sports memorabilia, silverware, or old jewelry, what may be junk to you just might be another man's treasures. Located at 2002 Ninth Street in Greeley, another man's treasures can take these old items and convert them into cold, hard cash. Located at 2002 Ninth Street, remember another man's treasure. So you think the Pawn Stars are in Vegas, huh? Have you been to City National Pawn? 3301 West 10th Street in Greeley, and you're the Pawn Star. With great deals on commercial and industrial tools, electronics, smartphones, laptops, and fine jewelry, so many great deals and a constantly changing inventory guarantee you get the best deal in town at City National Pawn. Need quick cash fast? City National Pawn has got you covered there too. Monday through Friday and Saturdays, remember, you're the Pawn Star at City National Pawn, 3301 West 10th Street in Greeley. Matt Rivette started in real estate just in time for the bottom to fall out of the market. And it turns out it was a good time to start. From day one, Matt Rivette had to do it right. Serve the client. Turn for sale into sold. 32 years later, we know market conditions will change. But Matt Rivette's commitment to you won't. This is a good time to get to know Matt Rivette at Pro Realty. List your commercial income or residential property with Matt Rivette. Call Matt Rivette at 970-356-1234 or go to ProRealtyHomes.com. Well, I'm glad to hear Chris is okay. What's the condition of his car? It can be fixed. I'm just waiting to hear from my insurance adjuster as to where. We'll take it over to Auto Collision Specialists. They've repaired my cars for years. I wanted to, but my adjuster says I'll have to pay additional costs out of my own pocket to have it repaired at Auto Collision Specialists. Stop. You pay your insurance premiums in good faith every month with the expectation that if you have an accident, your insurance company will pay what's necessary to repair your car correctly. In many cases, that's not what happens. Scare tactics like threatening to make you pay out of pocket or not warranting the work are tricks that will not be tolerated at Auto Collision Specialists. You can rest assured we have your best interests at heart and will do everything in our power to make sure your insurance company fulfills its commitment to you. Remember, insurance companies don't fix cars. We do. Auto Collision Specialists, we'll take care of that. Cutting edge commentary from the edge of reality. The Scooter McGee Show is back on News Talk 1310 KFKA. Hey, remember when I said about the solstice I was fearing another seismic or magmatic activity, most likely magmatic? Gee, we got more lava. I, I guess that would be magmatic. But what would I know? I'm a high school dropout in fourth generation Irish mafia, otherwise known as Scooter McGee. I am pissed. It's a beautiful Welcome back. Uh, a quick quote before I repeat a question I've asked now twice on this show. It's from 1907, by the way. Not, not a Kennedy. Wrong Roosevelt. Teddy Roosevelt. <laughs> this will tie directly into NYPD and the Mafia and Roy Cohn. And I cannot believe the disinfo I heard come out earlier today on Genesis Communications. I will be having serious conversations over this weekend. I may not even be here on Monday, so have a good life. 
But first of all, uh, let's just get through this show tonight. Teddy Roosevelt. 1907. Immigrants and being an American. He says in the first place, this is him directly stating this, not someone else framing his intent or what he meant. Teddy Roosevelt said in 1907, in the first place, we should insist that if the immigrant who comes here in good faith becomes an American and assimilates himself to us, he shall be treated on exact equality with everyone else. For it is an outrage to discriminate against any such man because of creed, birthplace, origin, or uh, show content. I'm sorry, he didn't. He didn't say that. They didn't have radio yet. He says, but this is predicated upon the person's becoming in every facet an American, and nothing but an American. There can be no divided allegiance here. In 1907, Teddy Roosevelt said, and I quote, Any man who says he is an American, but something else also, isn't an American at all. We have room for but one flag, the American flag. We have room for but one language here, and that is the English language. And we have room for but one sole loyalty. And that is a loyalty to the American people. That is Teddy Roosevelt. That is 1907. And you're not going to like what I'm going to say next, Gotham. The absolute corruption that is permeating Greeley, Milliken, Johnstown, Loveland, Fort Collins, Windsor, et al., is being propagated by not a military-industrial complex, but now almost, if you will, a cabal or a cadre of a very select few who that they think that they feel they can bully their way through to keep their power and attempt to prop themselves up, but actually not doing their real jobs. (laughs) What do you do when you catch someone in a lie? I mean, like on tape. I got you on tape. I got you on tape, dead to rights, lying to me. Oh, I know, I'm saying this is a microaggression. No, let's just go full throttle macroaggression. Um, I got you on tape, lying to me. But lying is an offensive word. Well, that sucks to be you, I caught you lying to me. Now, what are you going to do? I have to debate this weekend now what I'm going to do. The original order was don't do anything destructive. Do something impactful. I joked yesterday. I'm a carpet bomber, not a strategic bomber. (laughs) To be rattled this morning by this, we're going to war. In the only way I can present this tonight, in the terms of mafia and politics, we're going to war. And I'm not standing down. You are a destructive son of a bitch. I have a question for you, Gotham. I'm sorry, a son of an ox, <laughs> mule. You could tell me son of a bitch is offensive language now in the 9 o'clock hour. Nice try, 12 years. Oh, speaking of, the 12th annual Greeley Stampede kicked off today, of course, 5 to 6 p.m. Tanner Schwent. He'll be giving you all the details. I'll fill in the blanks here in the 10 o'clock hour. And with On This Day in Illuminati History, I'll be giving away more Stampede tickets tonight. (laughs) Teddy Roosevelt, 1907. Scooter McGee paraphrasing. Has America now become the land of special interests and the home of the double standard? I mean, let's see. Let me see if I get this straight. I lie to Congress. It's a felony. Congress lies to us. It's just politics. I opposed Obama. I was a racist. Couple of issues. I support Trump. I'm a racist. 
if we dislike a black person, we're racist. But if a black person dislikes white people, that's their First Amendment right to do so. The government spends millions and millions of dollars to rehabilitate criminals, of which the criminal system does not rehabilitate criminals. It's called college. You become a hardened criminal in the prison system, the penal system. So stop fooling yourselves to think that you're putting money into a correctional facility because they got a sign out front that says correctional facility. Walgreens at least has truth in advertising and says, come on in here and get your flu shot. With all the millions and millions and millions of dollars that you, the taxpayer, pay for the criminals, we don't seem to worry about the victims of the criminals. But the victims in the eye of the court of public opinion, based upon shaming for whatever issue, being bullied or not having the right hair, these are not big enough or they're not small enough. Wow. How messed up a society have we become? We do nothing for the victims, almost nothing for the victims. Public schools, you can teach all about homosexuality you want. God forbid you use the word God in that process. Go ahead, kill the unborn children. But you can't execute a mass murderer. Yeah, in the world of organized crime, how up is that? The victims, the children of the mob guy who we had to have clipped. Did you know that your father ran numbers and prostitution and heroin? And I never heard that. Well, even if it's true, I, I, I don't think my father should have been killed for it. Well, I'm sorry, your father got into this Bugatti and agreed that if we found out he was pulling that, he was going to get clipped. And, and your father was dealing, dealing dope and running horse to pay for your private school. Didn't want you in this business. Didn't want you in this family. Didn't want you to play the victim, but now you're playing the victim. That's all people seem to know how to do now. Play the victim. We do not burn books anymore in America. Of course not. Now we just rewrite them. Communism and socialism are no longer a threat because we've renamed it. Progressivism. We can't close our borders with Mexico, but we have certainly no problem uh, protecting the 38th parallel in North Korea. Or South Korea, depending upon your racist ideologies. You did not like Obama, but it was okay for you to burn an image of Bush in effigy. Pee on the flag, stand on the flag, burn the flag. That's all your first right amendment. First Amendment rights, excuse me. Porno on TV and the internet, but God forbid you put up that nativity scene this Christmas. Criminals are no longer criminals. They're sick people. We take all the money from people who work hard and give it to people who don't even want to work. You support the Constitution now, but only when it supports your political ideology. You worry about covering your ass, your paper trail, your name. Yet you are the name representative of others under the Bugatti. If someone has to point out the emperor is naked in the room, 400 pounds overweight with a small pee-pee, I'm the guy. Your generation was raised with video games and Ritalin. You wouldn't know aggression if if it jumped up and bit you. The land of opportunities now become the land of handouts. How do we handle a crisis today? Look at the headlines. Sign an executive order. Appoint a committee. Determine who's at fault. Threaten. Pass new laws. Raise money with more new taxes. All so you can get back to your political campaigns. I wanted to insert that before the primary on Tuesday in case I'm not here Monday. 30 after, 30 at the top.
Chance of thunderstorms through the evening and early overnight. Hello, I'm Matt Macon to the Colorado Zone, Channel 2's Pinpoint Weather Forecast. It's that time of year that any storm could be damaging, so we'll watch out for the hail and the wind threat for you also. Lows tonight near 55. 85 Saturday with a slight chance of afternoon thunderstorms. Higher chance for rain Saturday night through the day Sunday with some thunderstorms then also. Highs on Sunday will be 70 to 75. This weather update is brought to you by North Range Behavioral Health. Visit northrange.org. Matt Rivette started in real estate just in time for the bottom to fall out of the market. And it turns out it was a good time to start. From day one, Matt Rivette had to do it right. Serve the client. Turn for sale into sold. 32 years later, we know market conditions will change. But Matt Rivette's commitment to you won't. This is a good time to get to know Matt Rivette at Pro Realty. List your commercial income or residential property with Matt Rivette. Call Matt Rivette at 970-356-1234 or go to ProRealtyHomes.com. PDC Energy is an oil and natural gas producer based here in Colorado, employing hundreds of Coloradoans with Colorado values. In addition to safely producing the natural resources that power our lives, PDC gives back to the communities where they operate. They support and volunteer for organizations like Weld Food Bank, Habitat for Humanity, UNC, and local high schools. PDC Energy employees are part of the fabric of our community. 85% of PDC Energy employees participated in the company's annual day of volunteer service. At PDC Energy, community matters. To learn more, find PDC Energy on Facebook. Where can you find the world's best blended malt whiskey? Only at Highland Park Liquors in Greeley. From the Lost Distillery Company, Highland Park Liquors offers Lossett, a blended malt scotch whiskey finished in a Pedro Jimenez sherry cask. This very limited production scotch whiskey is exclusively sold at Highland Park Liquors in Greeley, where you can find a vast selection of rare and hard-to-find spirits. Join us for beer and spirit tasting every Friday from 5 to 7 at 1850 59th Avenue or visit us online at highlandparkliquors.com. Everyone has those long, drawn-out days that make us want to say, Ah, truck this. Eastridge Transportation is a family-owned business that does just that. With the ability to haul just about anything with reefer trailers, flatbeds, and cattle pods, Eastridge does it all. Eastridge is now hiring and can be reached by phone at 970-330-6624. Eastridge Transportation, serving all of your transportation needs since 2001. If we can't truck it, f*** it. Five concerts, one low price. The 2018 Greeley Stampede Superstars Concert Series includes Darius Butler, Dustin Lynch, Aaron Watson, and the Roots and Boots Store featuring Sammy Kershaw, Colin Ray, and Aaron Tippett. With more to be announced. Packages on sale February 21st, starting at $80. Visit GreelyCampBeat.org for details. Cutting edge commentary from the edge of reality. The Scooter McGee Show is back on News Talk 1310 KFKA. I think most of you would fall out of your chair at this point if I actually put Michael Franzese on the phone. How you doing, Scooter? Good, Michael. Sorry to call so late. You don't mind. No, forget about it. Hey, the hypocrisy continues. The 18-year-old idiot, David Hogg. Yeah, he was just recently caught in New York City with his new entourage. Publicists, as well as armed security. Of course, he's David Hogg, Parkland shooting. The one trying to take your guns. Photographs clearly busting him with the publicist as well as another shaved head, no neck idiot. But armed guards for David Hogg. Why? I'm sorry, the hypocrisy of the mafia that is run by the uh, New World Order and the politicians. What's different? United States median age now hitting 38 years old. The identities of the ICE employees are now up on the internet, but that's funny because they're just from the public records, so why are they spinning that story? Anybody want to cover the number of prostitutes that were arrested up in Duluth over the uh, last 48 hours? I'm sorry. Nobody wants to hit that story, huh? Thought we were worried about the sex slave trafficking and all that. Yeah. 
appears that uh, Twitter is now uh, picking up uh, some of the Craigslist and other entities that got sniped away uh, sex platforms. Twitter is now allowing women to post their boobies and <laughs> splendor. And it appears as if there is a new breed. Hate to use that word. Um, of young sex workers who are now traveling when the president travels. They are not traveling with him. They are kind of like the advance team. <laughs> No one seems to be covering that story either. Mm. Trump's lawyer, Mr. Cohen versus Cohen. Roy Cohen is C-O-H-N. Mr. Cohen is C-O-H-E-N. So, um, yeah. Um, hmm. Tom Arnold, what are you doing? What are you doing? Tom now tweeting a picture with Michael Cohen says that he has all the tapes. You're a lying sack of crap. You're a lying sack of crap. You're a lying, steaming, stinking, nasty sack of liquid crap. Tom Arnold told NBC News this morning... Then it's on. He's got the tapes. All the tapes that supposedly are enough to take Donald Trump down. Interesting, because we don't want to make this political, but Arnold may be releasing the tapes maybe sometime next year. Oh, how convenient. You mean after the midterms as we ramp up to another general election? Oh, I see. The hunt for the Trump tapes. They're going to create a TV show. Oh, so we're not about getting the truth. We're about making money. I see. I thought I misunderstood the mafia. Tom Arnold told Michael Cohen, guess what? We're taking Trump down together. Later today, Tom Arnold tweeting the photo again. Seeking to emphasize the fact that it was himself and not Cohen suggesting the takedown. The actual tweet from Tom Tom Arnold says, Michael Cohen didn't say me and him were teaming up to take down Donald Trump. Michael has enough Trump on his plate. I'm the crazy person who said me and Michael Cohen were teaming up to take down Trump, of course. I meant it. Michael doesn't get paid by vice. Hashtag hunk for the tree. Yeah, he's starting his own hashtag thingy now. <laughs> it's about the money. It's about disinfo. It's about politics. How is that any different from the mafia? If you missed last night's shows, I'm sorry. I'm not going to go through this again. But I'll pick up where I left off. So I've mentioned his name twice. Michael Franzese. Because one of the email, hey, you, you are not because you would be in it and you wouldn't be allowed to talk about it. Really? Do you know who Michael is? <laughs> you sure? Um, <laughs> yeah, he walks the streets. He has respect of many of the crews that hated him. He's one of the few that didn't turn rat. He did his time in the federal prison system. And he got out. In fact, Michael Franzese... Uh, defeated Giuliani and the Ricos four times. Gotti only went up against it three times. And now I will interject Roy Cohn. Roy Cohn is a piece of... He was a lion mother. He was a thief. He was also a... fighter. <clears throat> Sorry, I didn't, couldn't figure out which word to bleep out of that one. Um, Now I will go immediately and remove myself from Mr. Cohen to go back 35 years. His name is Don Carlo Gambino. Don Carlo understands that there's a reason why the homosexual community is uh, underground. 
Don Carlo, one of the heads of the five families, before the Bonanos got kicked out in order, Bonanno, Colombo, uh, uh, mm, see, and I always want to do it alphabetic. I'm just going to do it. Bonanno, uh, Colombo, Lucchese, Gambino, Genovese. Um, Don Carlo understood to run gay bars was a tremendous opportunity. One, revenue. Two, blackmail. <laughs> Where do you think Roy Cohn came from? Now fast forward back to Mr. Franzese. On his fourth pinch, Roy Cohn had the balls to send for Mike. Mike said, well, I got nothing to do in prison. I'll go see him, I guess. I got nothing to do here. And goes into Cohn's office. I mean, he's escorted by the feds, but under attorney clients. So they're in the room. And Roy Cohn, this worthless piece of lawyer, you give me $250,000 and these indictments go away. Michael thought about it for about eight tenths of a second. Said, I don't work that way. Put a million dollars in escrow in a bank account. You hold the number. The charges are dropped. You can keep the money. Oh, no, that's not how we work, says Cohn. That's Roy Cohn. Oh, no, that's not how it works here. I need the money up front. Michael immediately knew he was getting, yeah. It's a true story, by the way. And uh, that little event with Mr. Roy Cohn is one of many when it comes to his ties with Donald Trump, with Rupert Murdoch, with a cast of names including John Anderson, former presidential candidate, Ronald Reagan, Roger Stone. So now I understand why Cohn's name came up today. However, trying to somehow tie in Roy Cohn and Trump Tower is a fallacy, gentlemen and ladies. I'm sorry. Yeah, it's funny. They kept their mouths shut while we were alive. The minute we get whacked, they're all over on 2020. Huh? When the Trump Tower was built, the Gambino crime family... And now, again, there's, there's, a, there's a, s- a slight separation here because you have the Westies, you have Hell's Kitchen, and you have the convention center going in there, all right? But you have Manhattan, midtown down to the Battery. Well, you can't get a building built without using one of the five families' shadow companies that price-fixed Everything from the steak that you put on your grill that weekend in Queens to the dress that you bought down in the, di- in the, in the garment district to the watch you brought to the, to the concrete that was poured to the trash that was taken out of town. And Mafia agreed was what it was. Just a taste. Just wet my beak. And everybody makes money. The government took the mafia model and flushed it down the Pichadu. We went from no tax. Yeah, it's okay. It's only going to be one or two cents. And in many cases now, that one or two cents on the dollar is 32 cents, 38 cents, 45 cents, 52. Whoa, 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 whoa. Now you're taking half my money. It's too late. You're in bondage. What are you going to do? Shut up. Otherwise, I'm going to break your f***ing legs. His name was Salvatore Gravano. He had the majority of the publicly known front companies for construction, ready mix, rebar, uh, unions and contractors, drywallers, sheet rockers, pipe fitters, et al. But the Bananos were in on it as well. The Genovese were in on it as well. The Lucchese's were in on it as well. Again, the Bananos had their own little problems. (laughs) 
Yeah, so that's my point of contention because what I'm saying is facts. Uh, these aren't from, you know, uh, I'm sorry, Fortune 500. What, John Gotti was like 15th and Michael Franzese was like 18th of the Fortune 500? Damn. No. But Salvatore Romano was the one who gave the nod, yes, the Trump Tower can be built. Not, I repeat, not Roy Cohn. Anyone spreading that is a liar. That's not misinfo. That's not dis. That is an outright lie. And you don't need to bother me. You can simply go to the archives or the FBI and just ask for the file. You paid for it. Roy Cohen ran New York's construction. <laughs> Roy Cohn couldn't tie his shoes without permission. Hey, you party animals and super fans out there. Greeley Westside Liquors got your party covered. Be the hit of your next party by calling 970-353-0036. That's 353-0036. Greeley Westside Liquor delivers to all of Greeley. Fast through the drive through and even faster by delivery from the friendliest folks in Greeley. Remember 30th and 10th Street? Remember Greeley Westside Liquor delivers after 4? Open 8 a.m. to midnight seven days a week. And Greeley Westside Liquor is your party bowl central. So you think the Pawn Stars are in Vegas, huh? Have you been to City National Pond? 3301 West 10th Street in Greeley, and you're the Pawn Star. With great deals on commercial and industrial tools, electronics, smartphones, laptops, and fine jewelry, so many great deals and a constantly changing inventory guarantee you get the best deal in town at City National Pond. Need quick cash fast? City National Pond has got you covered there, too. Monday through Friday and Saturdays, remember, you're the Pawn Star at City National Pond, 3301 West 10th Street in Greeley. Everyone should have a hobby like painting, competitive eating, or maybe basket weaving. But if you crave something more exciting, Jackwagon RC has something you will love. That's right, we're talking about remote control cars, 70 mile per hour cars. Jackwagon RC is jam packed with parts and accessories for everyone in the RC community, beginner and expert alike. The shelves are stocked with a variety of RC brands and they offer repairs in store. Swing by Jackwagon RC to see what you're missing and pick up a new hobby. Jackwagon RC is located off 9th Street inside CRP 4x4. Five concerts, one low price. The 2018 Greeley Stampede Superstars Concert Series includes Darius Rucker. Justin Lynch, Aaron Watson, and the Roots and Boots Store, featuring Sammy Kershaw, Colin Ray, and Aaron Tippett. With more to be announced. Packages on sale February 21st, starting at $80. Visit GreelyStampede.org for details. Cutting edge commentary from the edge of reality. The Scooter McGee Show is back on News Talk 1310 KFKA. The following program is intended for mature audiences. I text Michael in advance to let him know I was sorry. <laughs> I know how you snitches work. With a pink hotel, a booty and a swinging hot spot. Don't it always seem to go that you don't know what you got to it? All right, welcome back. I'm better. I mean, I'm not. I'm just, I am so pissed that all of this disinfo now I'm watching. And a lot of it I'm now just calling out is not disinfo. They're lying. They're lying. I jumped out of my chair screaming, how can you say that? You know that's an effing lie. Had I been in the building, I would have burst into the control room. Yes. Yes. That's how pissed. So uh, my words will be taken into account. I'm sure I'll be pulled into several meetings over the next 72 to 96 hours. I will deal with it. Look forward to seeing all of you on the World Wide Web, out on the streets, and hopefully not in the gutter. But you're being lied to on a, lay a level up here, northern Colorado. I can't even begin to start unraveling. Your politicians are lying to you. Your leaders are lying to you. And in fact, at this point, don't believe a word I'm saying because they'll say that I'm lying to you. But it was Salvatore Gravano's name on those front companies that allowed for Trump Tower to be purchased. And that's, that's just a fact. I'm sorry. 
And Michael's father, of course, was sentenced to 50 years for a crime he didn't commit. The FBI falsified evidence to set up a made guy. The FBI has all these tools at their disposal and the money. And then the feds. They got an ever-ending supply of money and manpower. Shut your mouth. The feds had all the ability to take down Michael's father. No. They had to make the uh, up as they went and then flushed him into the can so he'd never be able to get out and talk. He got out and talked. But for the 50 years he was in, he didn't speak. The one time he spoke had every one of the heads from Fat Tony Salerno down the hill. The infamous trial where they got off. Because he came out of the federal system, walked into a federal court, and looked at a jury and said, ladies and gentlemen of the jury, if you are to believe anything that the prosecution has said, then you must convict me, and you must let these men of honor go. And the jury let him go. That's also true. You don't see that in the mob movies, do you? You get mad at me for pointing this out now. See, there's only so long I can shut up. I'm not going to go see Travolta and Gotti because he's Vinnie Barbarino and he's an at Oh, Oops. Probably should bleep both of those. That's how passionate I am about this. I'm not going to go see it. You, people, stop telling me. what. It, what it's, stop sending me clips. I'm loving you're sending your smartphones in there. Don't do that. You're making me an accomplice after the fact, and I didn't ask you to do it. Scooter, I thought you'd like to see this scene. I don't need to see the scene. I've either heard about it at the dinner table, the breakfast table, or in the back of a car while we're trying to figure out how to have somebody clipped, or I've heard about it from my family. <laughs> Sitting in the back of the car trying to figure out how to have somebody clipped. They were talking about that in the front. I was playing with my Game Boy in the back. <laughs> Stormy Daniels is going to go to the border to help the immigration children. <laughs> The lies in Weld County as we come up to the primary. If you give a, about your town in Weld County, vote. And in fact, I would encourage you, if for no other reason, to come out to the Greeley Stampeded Island Grove Regional Park, but to get up close and personal with some of your favorite commissioner and, and commissioner... Uh, candidates, because after Tuesday, they may go into the ground like cockroaches. Maybe. And hopefully I will be here for you Tuesday night to deliver that coverage. Tom Arnold is just all over the media now. CNN was happy to talk about Tom Arnold fisting the president sideways with his pants on. That's all this is doing now. No one is talking about anything productive going on on this planet, let alone in this country. Again, Broward County Sheriff Scott Israel is going to get reelected. David Hogg says he doesn't want to take your guns. He just wants to take your guns because you don't need guns. But he doesn't need a gun either because now he's got private security. Can I point out I don't have a job and I'm begging for one not to strip people's rights? This kid doesn't have a job. Who's paying his security? Because you suggest Soros-type funded groups are behind this and you're just immediately attacked. The minute I saw the little girl in the pink shirt on Time Magazine, I'm like, I know I've seen that girl before. And wow, I was right. I thought I was hallucinating again. So it was fake news. Just like the child in the cage was a staged photo. No one said it wasn't real. I just said it was staged. And how interesting. 622, the Illuminati. And Leonardo da Vinci's name is in the... What? Yeah. Born April 15th, 1452. I can certainly see why 622 would be an interesting headline. And a day to insert. 
Leonardo da Vinci. You know, that whole Merovingian bloodline thingy, that's just a lion scooter. That's just, you know, you're just taking this out of context from the Matrix comic books. Hey, you want to keep polluting your brain with cartoons, bread and circuit. Well, gourmet bread and your very particular types of circuses. You know, underwater water, water volleyball or, you know... Uh, inverted skydiving, backward ski jumping, which snowflake stay, stays crispest the longest. That's bread and circus. Cartoons, bread and circus. Is that what you want left to the media to be? You don't want anybody daring to question authority, challenging someone, God forbid, that might be controversial. Every cartoon I've ever seen was controversy. All the circus when it comes to sports and entertainment is who's getting the part? Who should get the part? Should they be traded? Should they not be traded? That's controversy. And in the world of, oh my God, consume more. But which cheeseburger should I eat? Who makes the best one? Why should you need anybody telling you any of that? The powers that be wish to control what you think, what you watch, what you eat, what you say. And they're about ready to clamp down. And right now, the media, many members of it, are outright in line on the air. Or in print. So I am not restricting this to radio. On air would be radio, television, print, blog. I don't give a You know the facts. And when you lie, you're not misspeaking. You're lying. It's not spin. You're lying. When do we start calling out liars for liars? Because on my planet, we didn't call you out for lying. You knew you lied. A couple of your best friends showed up to take you out for softball. Next thing you know, that's right. You didn't feel a thing, did you? You're lucky. What may be junk to you 